My name is Jason Lemethaw and my ski company is Jay. Back in 1995, I started a ski company called Line, and it's still around today. It's one of the top five brands in the US. Um, I started that company back in 95 when there was really only one type of ski, a really tall, skinny, pointy, square tail ski, essentially made for racing. And snowboarding was blowing up, and I was having fun snowboarding as well as skiing, but I could do so much more on my snowboard, I wanted to apply all of that to my skis. I wanted to be able to ski backwards. I wanted to be able to float into powder better carve turns. So what I did as a college project at the University of Buffalo is take all the design aspects of a snowboard and build a ski just like a snowboard. So it was wider, it was twin tip, it was centered stance, it had deep side cuts that you can carve. And my first day out on those homemade twin tip skis essentially, I could do more than I ever could on my regular skis. After graduating from the University of Buffalo, I went home and I started building these skis in my parents' garage. I basically worked all morning through night just making these short twin tip skis and selling them and riding them with my friends. And one thing led to another and eventually, you know, you see what you have here today, which is basically twin tip skis are pretty normal. For line skis, when I started that, I was on a mission to change skiing for the better, or at least what I saw as potential to make it more youthful. And so my main goal is make skiing more fun, make it more appealing, develop products that are more modern. And, and I did all that um, with a lot of help and a lot of different companies and people contributing along the way and athletes. 20 years of that, you know, it was basically, I think I was on my 17th year, I was like, I really accomplished everything I set out to do. And I saw potential with the internet and social media and a new openness to buy from an independent brand, you know, a small kind of micro brew ski company that was happening already. But I want to get back into that game. You know, I want to have my own brand again because I didn't own Line by the time it was done. I had to sell it and, and whatnot. So I wanted to start a new company and take advantage of modern business where you can sell everything direct on a website. You can build things, you know, move at the speed of thought. So I started this company, Jay, uh, selling skis, jayskis.com, my own website exclusively. Um, it's really a completely different business model where I'm not selling to retailers. Instead, you're getting all the product factory direct from me. I'm building limited editions of each ski. So there might be one model. I'll build 50, maybe 100 pair. And that's it. Once it's sold out, it's gone forever and you've got a one of a kind limited edition. I hand sign and number every ski. Um, so you've got somewhat of a work of art on your feet. Um, and then I release a new ski, a new graphic. Um, performance wise, they're some of the best skis in the world. You know, they're winning awards. I've been designing skis for over 20 years. So I have a lot of experience. Think of it as like a chef. You, you're constantly tweaking your recipe and you can't make a great ski unless you've made a lot of mistakes in the past. And I've got, you know, two decades worth of trial and error. I mean, I've literally designed and tested thousand plus skis, you know, and I've released in the market and sold, you know, a few hundred thousand skis. So all of that trial and error has led me to create really a better ski or the best possible ski today. Um, and I'm still learning stuff. If a company thinks of a, a new ski, by the time you bring it to market, by the time you get it in your hands as a customer, it's two years later. And with my company, because I'm going direct to the end consumer, I'm bringing it to market in a couple months instead of a couple of years. So you're getting a more forward thinking, more modern product that's more relative and based on what someone wants today. And when it comes to graphics, it's really just a brainstorm and of any ideas that I might have seen or you see things in other sports, you see things just trending in everyday life and and you think, you know, that would be funny on a ski or that would be really cool looking on a ski or wouldn't it be rad, you know, people like say a group like Wu-Tang, let's, let's collaborate with them and put their graphic on a ski. Um, or you see a piece of artwork hanging on a wall or an exhibit and you're like, let's contact that artist, see if he'd do a graphic with us. I get my ideas from really everyone in skiing, you know, from just someone I'm riding a chairlift with to a customer of mine that says, hey, have you ever thought of doing this? To some post on social media or an email or a phone call. So I kind of take all those different ideas coming from wherever and I filter them through and just try to turn them into great product. I always try to make skiing more fun, you know, whether it's more entertaining in my marketing or in the graphics or just you get on the ski and you have the best day you've ever had. It's just skiing is something I say all the time. Like honestly, I catch myself always saying it and then I just started writing it down as part of the company and 
it made more sense as I used it in that way because it really is. You know, people just get so caught up in the seriousness of it or, you know, I hate this, I love that, or you should ski, you know, skiing without poles isn't skiing, or you have to ski like this, or this is real, you know, it's at the end of the day, it is, it's just skiing. Like, that's, that's it. As far as advice, you know, I get asked all the time by entrepreneurs or people wanting to start a business or even just people getting into the ski industry, um, get as much practice as you can. Like if you want to get in the ski industry, go work for a ski shop. You're going to meet just about every uh, company out there in winter sports. There's going to be a sales rep that comes in your store and you know raise your hand and say, hey, I want to help if there's any way to get more involved and work your way up, up the ladder and just learn as much as you can. And as far as being an entrepreneur, if you've got an idea for a product or a brand or a service, I mean, a lot of times you got to just jump in. It's like hitting a jump. You know, you, if you don't hit it with enough speed, you have no chance of landing it. So just give it everything you got. Ask as many people that know what they're doing questions to contribute to what you're doing. Um, you hit it with enough speed and there's a chance you're going to land it, you know. And if you don't, get up, hit it again until you do. My company now, the future is unknown. Really, my initial goal was sell skis direct and have a small company that's profitable, meaning I don't have to sell it like I had to the first time around with Line. Um, my goal is just to have a nice, small, sustainable kind of microbrew of ski companies. Um, it's growing fast, which is great. And you know, if we become bigger, that's awesome. Um, I just want to stay in control of it and continually give back to the sport that you know gave me so much, and not lose control of it and have it owned eventually by you know a Wall Street type public company. But. Uh, so I guess down the road, I just see making more skis and having more fun with it and just keeping people awake. I just want to always keep ski, skiing fresh and do it through making really cool products and fun marketing.